Howdy guys. So, for your home workout today, I'm just going to start with a warm up, a few exercises, pop down on the ground there. I'm going to start with five Spider Man's each side. So, one leg up in front of you into like a lunge position and drop that same elbow to the ground. Look back, okay? Just open up your chest and shoulders when you look back. So, we're going five of them each side. Four. And five. Okay, switch sides. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, next we are going to go for some scat push ups. So just pop onto the hands and knees. Okay, and I just want you to squeeze your two shoulders together, push them apart, and you're going to hold for a second in each position. Okay, so Hold for one, squeeze together, hold for one. Going for 10 of them, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good stuff. Next, we are going to go for 10 cat camels or cat cows. So just a nice flat back and then you're going to tuck your hips and pelvis up towards you, round your back a little, and then stick your bum back and puff your chest up. Okay, so you're just curving your spine and then lengthening it and extending it. Going for 10 of them. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stuff. Next, 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 we're going to go for ten single leg raises or leg lowers. So you're going to lie back, one leg up and down. Okay, just keep the leg straight, get it up as high as you can. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Look. Next, you can just sit your bum on the ground. We're gonna go 90-90 uh, hip transitions. Okay, so just loosen our hips. So one leg is gonna be out in front of you with your thigh and shin at 90 degrees. Okay, so your knees making a 90 degree angle there. And same with your leg out to the side. Okay, so just one out to the side. And you wanna lift one knee and the other knee will just follow around. Okay, and turning our hips and chest in. We'll go for 10 of those. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stuff. Okay, next, guys, we're just going to run through some uh, pelvis stuff, some core stuff, and some push up stuff. So, kind of going to be working on, you can nearly think of it as technique work here on certain stuff and how to use your core properly. So we're going to start with some pelvic tilts. So you're just going to sit yourself down on the ground. Lie back, legs are going to be bent, okay? And uh, from here, you want to think of making a nice big gap under your lower back, okay? So I can fit my hand and fingers under my lower back, okay? And then I'm going to try close that gap, okay? So I'm just tilting my hips there. You can also think of it as uh, just peeling your tailbone off the ground, okay? And if you think of that, that should close your lower back into the ground. Hold that for a second and you should feel your lower core area switch on a little and just feel it tense up. Okay, so you're just going to hold that for a second, then go back, relax, make that big arch under your lower back. Tighten up. Okay, so we're going to go 10 of those, okay? Off we go. One, two, Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I know that looks a bit weird, but it's really good. You should be feeling your lower core, okay? It's just think of it as your as a continued warm up, just to get your core working a bit. Um, next, we're gonna go for a push up hold. So we're holding the top of a push up, and I want you to bring that pelvic tilt we just done into your push up hold. So what I mean by that is you're gonna be here, okay? Let's say your arse is up in the air. I want you to tuck that down, like you're closing your lower back into the ground. And you go hold that there for 20 seconds and you should feel your lower core kick in okay so it's just about feeling things out and seeing if you can move your body slash hips properly okay so push up position if you want to start with your bum sticking back and then tuck your pelvis under and you're going to hold that okay so think of peeling your tailbone off the ground or pulling your pubic bone up to your head or cues i like to use and push your hands through the floor we're going to hold that for another 10 9 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great stuff, okay? Hopefully you are feeling that a bit in your lower core. We'll be doing it again in a sec where you can improve on it again. Next, we're gonna go for 10 push-ups. You can go from your knees or from your feet. If you're going from your feet, exact same thing as you've done there. Tuck that pelvis, feel your core. If you're going from your knees, exact same thing as well. Don't have your bum sticking back in the air like that. Hips push forward and Tuck that pelvis, okay? And then you're just gonna tap your belly button off the ground if you're over your knees, push back up. You'll feel your core working a lot more and that's gonna keep you stable, okay? So we're going 10 reps, okay? Off we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So Okay, gonna get you to do another round of that. Pop back to your pelvic tilt stuff. So we're going legs bent, ever nice and relaxed. Pop your hands on your hips, will help you feel a bit more. And if you're finding this difficult, one other cue I like to use, imagine you're wearing a belt. That belt will have a buckle. And if you, if I used to say to you, pull that buckle, belt buckle up to your head, what would you do? You'd have to tilt your hips up like that and close that gap on your lower back, okay? So pull the belt buckle up your head 10 times. Hopefully you can feel your lower core kicking a little. Just make sure that there's no gap under your lower back when you tilt your hips up like that. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good stuff. Okay, uh, gonna go for a push up hold again. Just reinforce that position uh, with, our, with, our, with our core and hips. Okay, so 20 seconds off we go. Pull the belt buckle up to your head. Pull the pelvis up to your head, okay? Keep that lower core tight. Just holding, hold for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. And we're gonna go 10 push-ups again, guys, okay? Whenever you're ready, just take go on your own time with your push-ups, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great stuff. Okay, take a little break, that's just, that nearly is a warm up, you can think of it. Going to do some lower body stuff next, in the form of air squats, sorry, split squats even. For 30 seconds each leg, we're going to do some wall walks with some shoulder taps and we're going to do some air squats at the end. Three exercises, okay. You're going to do 30 seconds on and 20 seconds off on each of them, okay. So, we're going to start with split squats. Um, 30 seconds each leg. You get 20 seconds rest in between. We're going to go air, or sorry, walk outs with a shoulder tap for 30 seconds, and then you're going to get 20 seconds rest, and then you're going to go air squats for 30 seconds, okay? So I'm just going to get a stopwatch up, guys, to time us, and then we'll get cracking.
Okay. So for our split squats, just split your stance, okay, into like a lunge position and stay there, up and down. Okay, think of trying to pull your two feet together. You'll feel that hamstring kick in and the front hip kick in there. If you need to hold on to something to balance yourself, that's fine, okay? So we're going 30 seconds with just, let's say, our left leg in front and our right leg back behind us to start off with. Okay, ready to go? Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds. Just up and down, nice and steady. Do as many or as. I'll do it good for you anyway. But um, you could also weight these up if you want to make them more difficult, guys. Down nice and steady, push up through that front foot. Three, two, one. Rest for 20, then we're going to switch legs, okay? So you should be getting in around like eight to 12 reps, I'm guessing, okay? Going in 10 seconds. Okay, going in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. Last 10. Three, two, one, and rest. Next, you're gonna go into a walkout. So, hands down in the ground, walk yourself into a push-up position. Do a shoulder tap each side. Walk yourself back up, okay? 30 seconds of that. Off we go. Three, two, and one. So, rest for 20. Next, you're gonna go air squats for 30 seconds, okay? Just regular air squats, guys. So, and, okay, you can load them up with a dumbbell, kettlebell if you have one, okay? Going in five, four, three, two, and one, and so, Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stuff, 20 seconds rest. We're just gonna do 30 seconds of hand release push ups as well, guys, okay? As your fourth exercise, and then we're gonna do two more rounds of that. So, hand release push ups, just going down, hands up off the ground, push back up. Okay. Uh, just think of keeping your body like a nice stiff plank of wood. No bending. Okay, we're going in five seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Chest down to the ground, hands up. That's five, four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds rest, then we're going back into our split squats. Okay. Okay, we're going in five, three, two, one, off we go. 30 seconds each leg.
three, two, and one. Rest for 20, guys. Then we're going other side. Okay, come on to five, four, three, two, one, off we go. Last three, two, and one. Good stuff. Okay, going into our walkouts next. Walk out, shoulder tap each side, walk back in. Okay, going to five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Walk out into a nice solid push up position. Tap the shoulders and try not to let your hips move side to side at all. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff. Okay, air squats next, guys. Go on, 15 seconds. Okay, three, two, and one. Let's go. Three, two, one, and rest for 20. Next, we've got our hand release push ups. Going in 10, okay? Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Pop the hands up, down, leave it down the bottom. Body in a nice straight line. And tight. So, four more round. Then we are going to do a bit of core stuff to finish off. Okay, going into hang with our split squats. Okay, three, two, one, and off we go. 30 seconds each side. Nice and slow on the way down. Big push up, okay. Last ten. Three, two, and one. Good stuff, guys. Rest twenty. Then we're going other leg. Take another 10 seconds there. Okay, going to five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Last 
last five, four, three, two, and one. Stuff, guys. Press 20, then we're going to walk out with our shoulder taps. Going in 10. Okay, going in 3, 2, 1, off we go. So walk out. Nice strong push up position. Tap our shoulder. Go back in. Five, four, three, two, one. Stuff. Air squats and hand release push ups to go. Okay, going in three, two, and one. Off we go. Three, two, and one. Stuff, so, guys, just hand release push ups to go for this part. Rest up there. Okay, ready to go. Three, two, one, off we go with our push ups. So, chest down to ground, release the hand, push back. And tight. Well done, guys. Okay, take a minute or two breather. Shouldn't be too bad that part. Next part will be a bit more intense. We're going to go 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off doing our core stuff. So we are going to go for what do we have? What do we have? Uh, 20 on, 10 off. Bent leg hollow holds. We've got some army. Uh, plank army crawls and some side planks, okay? Gonna do two rounds, 20 on, 10 off. That'll be eight minutes to finish off, okay? Um, yeah, just run through each of them now, guys. So your first one, bent leg hollow hold, or if you wanna go straight leg hollow hold, you can. So, again, think of closing that gap on your lower back. That is the team of today, in case you didn't notice. Um, you can then pop your feet up, so that's still tight there. Shoulders up off the ground, and that's just your core working. And if you want to make it harder, you straighten out your legs. Make sure you're keeping that belt buckle pulled up to your head as such, okay? That's first one, plank army crawls. You're in a push-up position. And you're just going to make sure you reinforce that good position with your hips and pelvis. So, core is nice and tight, and you're just going to lift one knee towards the elbow. Nice and steady. There's no point going really fast in that and losing what your core is actually meant to do, okay? Just wa just wasting energy. Um, and our side plank, okay? Fairly straightforward, last one I hope. So 20 on, 10 off in each of them. Okay, we're going 10 with our hollow hold. So bent leg or straight legs. Okay, three. Two and one, off we go. Core is nice and tight. Lower back's tight to the ground. You can go bent legs or you can go straight legs. Shoulder blades are up off the ground. 
We're going for another five, four, three, two, and one. Great stuff. Next, we are going into our plank army crawls. In three, two, one. Off we go. Nice and tight with our core. Just drive that knee up to the elbow. Three, two, one. You should feel that burning in your lower abdomen area if you're doing that right, guys. Um, side plank next, okay? Off your hand or off your elbow. In three, two, one. Off we go. So hip up. Hold that for another 10 guys, so hips up, bum squeeze forward, body in a nice straight line. Keep that going for another five, four, three, two, one. And we're swapping sides. Going in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. Hold that for another 10 guys. That's five, four, three, two, one. Well done, rest 10, then we're going back to our hollow hold. We're just gonna keep going through them. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Should be burning there towards the end. Last three, two, one. Well done. Plank army crawlers next, guys. Going in five, three, two, one. Let's go. Three, two, one, rest, side plank next. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So keep it up, last five. Four, three, two, one, and switch sides. Well done, guys. Five, four, three, two, one, other side, off we go. Last 10, keep it up. Three, two, one, done. Okay, get ready to go again, guys. Go in three, two, one, with our bent leg hollow hold or straight leg hollow hold. Another 10, done. Lower back tight to the ground. Three, two, one. Stuff. Plank army crawlers to go. Three, two, one, let's go. Drive that knee, keep the core real tight. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff. Rest ten side planks. Okay, three, two, one. Off we go. Thirty seconds each side. Hips up.
Last three, two, and one. Stuff, other side, guys. Last one. Okay, three, two, one, and up we go. Hips up, I'm squeezed. Another 10, well done, keep it going. Last three, two, one. Great stuff, guys. Plenty of core work done there. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Some new stuff in there, maybe, for you. Nothing too crazy, though. Um, we'll see you in the next one, okay? Thanks a million, guys.